What is up guys? Welcome back to another video today and today I have the recap plus my top 10 after week 2 of college football. Learning a little bit more. We had some upsets. We have some surprises. Some embarrassments. A really a, a good week in college football. A lot of people called it boring but to me it was not at all. So let's get right into it and I just want to say Thank you for watching. At the end of the video, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I make college football content weekly. And I make NFL content weekly on my second channel, which is the same name as this one with NFL After. So let's hop in. Let's recap some things from this week. First, I would like to say one of the most shocking things this week. Jacksonville State University. How many people knew this was a university before... I just said it. Not a lot of you. Jacksonville State University beat Florida State on a Hail Mary. With little time to go. Actually, no time to go. They beat them on a Hail Mary walk-off. This is embarrassing. I mean, Jacksonville State, a like FCS team, not even FBS, FCS team, beats Florida State. A blue blood. A college football blue blood. This is just embarrassing. Can Florida State get any more just bad? Can they can they hit more of a rock bottom at this point? Like, I, I didn't like it, Florida State, and I still don't really like Florida State. But, I mean, it's sad for even me to see this because I know... They should be so much more better than losing to Jacksonville State on a Hail Mary. Then I also want to say this Arkansas-Texas game. Arkansas embarrassed Texas. The score doesn't really justify it. Arkansas won by like 30. I think this is really interesting. I don't know if this speaks more to maybe Texas is not as good or maybe Arkansas is not as bad or maybe a little bit of both but i think it is really interesting because you know texas wants to join the sec and they're going to join the sec in a few years and they can't even take down a mediocre to good sec team and you want to go play with alabama georgia florida auburn lsu and you can't even take down a mediocre Arkansas team? Or I think Arkansas is a little better this year. I think we should give them respect. A, a decent Arkansas team? I don't know about that. It'll, they'll have to step it up when they get to the SEC. Next, we have Stanford. Stanford embarrassed USC. 42-28. to I did not expect this. I thought it would be the opposite way around. I wasn't high on USC to begin with. I, I didn't think they were going to do good this season or last season. But man, Stanford's not really a good team. Hadn't been in a while and they just molly -wop USC last night. Didn't expect that. USC was in my top 15 last week and they are uh, not this week to say the least. Okay, next, next one before we get into the top 10. BYU beat Utah. In the Utah rivalry, BYU finally beat Utah for the first time in nine years. BYU upset Utah. Okay, but that's the recap for the week. And the other stuff that happened this week, I'll explain in the top ten. So, before we get into the top 10, I want to get my honorable mentions for the list. Honorable mention at 11 is Notre Dame. They went out this week and barely, by the skin of their teeth, beat Toledo. Just by the skin of their teeth. Last minute touchdown with under a minute 30 to go. Only one by three. Notre Dame better step it up because these last two weeks, they've, only, they've won by... Three, one in overtime and one with two minutes to go. And both were to terrible teams. Next honorable mention I have is Penn State. 
Penn State beat Wisconsin week one, and they took care of stuff this week. We'll see what they're really made out made out of next week when they go and play Auburn. And I, I think they I think they'll win, and that could really boost them into the top ten. So it it'll be interesting to see. And I do want to give a honorable mention to Ole Miss. Ole Miss is looking impressive. Matt Corral, definitely a top two, top three Heisman candidate. He looks amazing. And if Ole Miss can pull a defense around this year, oh, Ole Miss is going to be a scary, scary team if they can get a defense this year. But that's my honorable mentions. Let's hop into the top ten. At number ten, I have Florida, the Florida Gators. Uh, nothing really of note to say here. They went and took care of business, forty-two to twenty versus South Carolina. I mean, South Florida. My bad. I will say it's interesting. They have two QBs who could start right now. Emory Jones, a very good runner, a very good dual threat quarterback, who has some experience. And they also have Anthony Richardson, a up-and-coming quarterback. Hadn't played much, but he looks impressive. It looks like he's got he's got the it factor, if you know what I mean. He's got a fire in him. So they both look impressive. Some people really want Anthony Richardson to start, but I think Emory Jones will at least start next week versus Bama. But it, but it'll be interesting to see. At number nine, I have. Th- the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State went this week and got upset by the Ducks. Something I did not see coming. Ohio State getting upset by the Oregon Ducks. They didn't even play bad. Ohio State did not play that bad. I mean, their defense could have played better. All team, all factors of the team could have played better. But Ohio State didn't play bad. Oregon just played better. But to lose at home has to hurt. But hey, I think they can bounce back. I don't think C.J. Stroud looked bad uh, other than that interception at the end of the game. I I think Ohio State can bounce back. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. And number eight, I have Clemson. Man, Ohio State and Clemson with, with both have a loss only two weeks into college football. And nothing of note to say for Clemson either. I mean, they took care of business and won versus versus uh, SC State. My bad, couldn't remember it. South Carolina State. I mean, they they did what they were supposed to. Forty nine to three. Not much to say. I don't think DJ Ungugule. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I don't. I don't think DJ looks that impressive. But I still think Clemson is a good team. And number seven, I have the A&M, Texas A&M Aggies. They looked not great this week, to say the least. Uh, barely getting a win over Colorado, 10-7. to They were held to just three points until halfway through the fourth quarter, which is sad. Although they did lose their starting quarterback, Haynes King, to a fractured ankle. He's going to be out for at least five weeks. I might cut him a little slack there, but 10-7 to versus an unranked Colorado. Mm. They didn't really look impressive this, this week. This is why they moved down. It is what it is. Some And also some other teams look more impressive. Number six, I have the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa went this week and got a win over Iowa State at just about as I predicted. No, I think Iowa's a good team. But I don't think Iowa State is all they're made out to be. I I, I just don't think they are. But hey, I mean, I gotta give it to Iowa. They really impressed me the other week, winning, winning versus Indiana. One of the most underrated teams in the country to me. And they go out this week and beat a number nine Iowa State team. So I have to give credit where credit is due. Number six, Iowa. And number five, I have the Cincinnati Bearcats. I was tempted to put them at four, put them at five. I mean, it was 7-7 at halftime, I think. But, I mean, they absolutely took over in the second half, winning 42-10. to 
to 7. Desmond Ritter looked pretty good as he does. Not much to say, but maybe this is the year that a group of five team gets into the playoffs. I'm not a big believer in that, but this Cincinnati team, they look pretty good, is all I'll say. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. This week, they got to play Indiana. It'll be interesting. Number four, we have the Oregon Ducks with the biggest jump in the poll. Going from around number 12, I had them, I think, to my number four spot. At uh, first, I didn't want to, but you got to think this earlier in the season, they picked up a quality win, which m m many teams don't have right now. Early in the season, you got to put them up there. They went in to the to the horseshoe and beat Ohio State, which is impressive no matter what Ohio State's doing that year, to go into Ohio State and beat them. Anthony Brown, I think their quarterback is named. Yeah, he looked he looked pretty stellar. Their run game looked pretty good. I'll give Oregon credit. They outplayed Ohio State. They just played better than them. And I, I have to give them credit. They're the Pac-12's really only hope right now. At number three, I have the Oklahoma Sooners. Not much to say here. They took care of business versus Western Carolina, 62 to nothing. Uh, to be fair, it's Western Carolina, but 62 to nothing is impressive nonetheless. Spencer Rattler looked way better this week. But not much to say. Oklahoma do a top three team. At number two, I have the Georgia Bulldogs. Wow, Georgia looked impressive this week. Me, even some of my commenters thought that Georgia would struggle with UAB. I had them winning about by about two to three scores. A lot of people said they would get upset, but man, Georgia went out there and won 56-7 to without their starting quarterback. That is very, very, very impressive. Very impressed with Georgia. But they're not beating, they're not getting ranked above the defending champs of Alabama, Alabama at number one, roll, tide, roll. Uh, it's business as usual for Alabama getting a win over Mercer, 48-14. I mean, we did what we were supposed to do. We won by a lot of points. We did not play that great. Now, maybe I'm being too critical as a fan. I do that sometimes. But we didn't play that great, especially in the first quarter. It was very sloppy. Even Nick Saban said this which you can go watch on YouTube, his speeches and press conferences. And he even warned against this earlier in the week. Uh, yeah, we didn't look that good. We missed some throws. Our blocking was way off. Our pass blocking... Our pass blocking is the only thing I'm worried about so far this season. But it didn't look good. Our running game couldn't get going. Wide receivers were dropping passes early in the game. But we got it fi figured out. I mean, we were going to win regardless. It's Alabama versus Mercer. But, hey, our defense looked outstanding. Those 14 points came in real late in the game. Our defense looked pretty stellar, I'll say. Now, Mercer isn't known for their high-flying offense, but still, you got to give credit where credit's due. Alabama still number one. Roll Tide Roll. Well, let me know what you thought of my top 10. Uh, let me know where you think Oregon should be ranked after their big win. How far should Ohio State fall? Well, do you think Cincinnati can make the playoffs? A, a lot of questions. A lot of questions this week. Let me know in the comments below to those questions and any other discussion points you want to talk about. I'm all ears. I love to talk about college football. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can give me your top 10. But with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. And peace.